Mapping matches your data to fields and codes in OCDS. Our mapping template will help you to do this and a link can be found in the description of this video. The mapping template is split into two main sections. Source sheets for recording information about your existing systems and data and OCDS sheets for mapping your data to OCDS. There is a mapping sheet for each stage of the contracting process. There's also some documentation you can refer to in the overview sheet, which includes a guide to the colour coding used in the template. Yellow cells show where values should be manually keyed in. Green cells show where values should be selected from a drop-down list. And purple cells show where values are automatically calculated, so you should not edit those cells. Because the sheet is quite big, it's easier to navigate using the All Sheets menu in the bottom left of the Google Sheets interface. Let's start mapping our fields. OCDS data may originate in multiple source systems, so the first step in the mapping template is to record the details of the source systems we are mapping from. These details should be entered in the System Sheet. Fill in the sheet with the details of your data sources based on your technical assessment. In our example, we have just one data source, an eGP system. In a real-world setting, you may have one system or many systems. For example, if you had separate systems that store data related to tenders and contracts, you would make sure they're both listed here. If you've completed a technical assessment template, you will know which systems contain your procurement information. The next step is to list out the fields in our source system we are mapping from. You must record at least the name of the field and the table or section of the schema it is located in. But the more information we can provide about these source fields, the better. In particular, providing an example makes it easier to check that fields are mapped correctly. In our example, we have just listed the fields from one table in the eGP system. You should list all the fields in your data sources. The mapping template has a sheet for each stage of the contracting process, from planning, through to implementation, with details of the relevant fields from the OCDS schema. The general sheet contains fields relevant to all stages of the contracting process. You might notice that the mapping sheets include fields from more than one part of the OCDS schema. For example, the planning sheet includes fields from the tender section. This is because the fields in OCDS are grouped according to what they relate to, not when the information becomes available. For example, an OCDS release from the planning stage of a contracting process might include the title, description and expected date of a tender. Our task here is to work through the OCDS fields in each mapping sheet and check whether that information exists in our source system. Each mapping sheet is structured as follows. The section column shows which section of the OCDS schema we are mapping, with additional guidance provided in the heading rows. The light grey subheading rows show the individual objects in the schema. Each row represents a field in OCDS. The path to the field is shown in column C and the title and description in column D and E. Column F allows us to select the mapping to our source system using a drop-down list. Column G shows an example of the data from the source system, if we entered one in the source field sheet and column H can be used to record any free text notes on the mapping. In the Fields sheet, the Mapped and Mapping Details columns provide feedback on whether individual fields have been mapped and which OCDS fields they have been mapped to. Don't worry if you haven't mapped all the fields in your source system. Some internal system fields might not be relevant for publication. If you have data in your source system which you wish to publish but for which there isn't a suitable field in the OCDS schema, these fields can be published as additional fields or documented as extensions to the standard. Additional fields can be documented at the bottom of each of the mapping sheets. Visit the standard documentation for more information or watch our Getting Your Data Ready to Publish video.